वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डिवाइड एनी फ्रैक्शन लेट से वी हैव वन अपॉन थ्री एंड वी हैव टू डिवाइड इट फ्रॉम अ होल नंबर ओके सो इन दिस केस वॉट डू वी डू योर इज वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दिस सेंटेंस बेसिकली दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट के सी एफ मेथड ओके मीनिंग यू विल कीप the first fraction as it is means this will be left as it is so this will be what 1 upon 3 then there is what c which is change so change meaning here what you need to do is you need to change this particular sign which is nothing but going to divide changes to multiply okay and then we have to flip again so flip means you are doing the reciprocal so reciprocal of 4 is nothing but what 1 upon 4 and now as you all know when it comes to fractions which are getting multiplied what you have to do is just multiply the numerator and the numerator so this will get multiplied with this which gets you what 1 into 1 gets you 1 and the denominator also gets multiplied by denominator so your answer is what 3 into 4 that is what 12 so 1 upon 12 is the answer for this particular division of fraction from a whole number okay so i hope you all are understanding how to do these kind of uh, operations when it comes when it involves fractions and whole numbers students if you are liking the way i am explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay so now very quickly let's look at few more examples and then i'll tell you where we get into mixed fractions and what happens when there are similar kind of thing we get a fraction which can be reduced or something like that okay so now one more example we'll do 3 upon 2 divide by 8 so let's keep let's do this using this particular sentence which is kcf so we'll keep the first fraction as it is so that is what 3 upon 2 will be left as it is then this division sign changes to multiplication and this 8 is now going to get what flipped flipped is basically now it becomes 8 1 upon 8 so now just you have see whenever you land with multiplication sign between two fractions then the entire operation becomes very very easy so we now have nothing but just multiply the numerators that is nothing but 3 into 1 which is 3 and 2 into 8 which is 16 so that is your answer for this particular operation okay now very quickly let's do this so i'm going to take this example because lot of you all got stuck in this what happens when you have 7 upon 9 divide by 3 now unfortunately lot of students who did what cancelled this this is this and this is this you can't do that please that is absolutely absolutely wrong why because <clears throat> what happens is that when you have a division sign you cannot cannot cancel diagonally at least diagonally is not possible diagonally cancelling is not possible when you have a division sign between two any two numbers okay so now here what we'll do is we'll again follow the same logic so we'll have keep the first fraction as it is then this changes to multiplication and this becomes what 3 becomes 1 upon 3 so this is now becoming 7 into 1 which is getting you 7 and 9 into 3 which gets you 27 okay so i hope you all are getting the hang of these kind of operations now many of you all might be wondering acha what happens if this is i'm just taking this even though i'm just uh doing division of fractions with whole numbers but still 7 upon 9 instead of uh, this 3 if we had 3 upon 5 so fractions into fractions is nothing but what just keeping again we'll follow the same logic so first one will be kept as it is this is a change and then this is a flip so flip means what reversal of the fraction which is what 5 upon 3 so this then comes out to be 7 into 5 that is 35 and this is 27 okay so again now please understand this is an improper fraction because the denom denominator is lesser than the numerator so in this case again you will keep it in mixed form so this will be 27 ones are and then when you remove 27 from 35 you are left with what 8 okay so this is the final answer when it comes to something 
लाइक डिवाइडिंग सेवन अपॉन नाइन बाई थ्री अपॉन फाइव ओके नाउ लेट्स वेरी क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू हैव समथिंग लाइक योर फाइनल आंसर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी इन अ रिड्यूस्ड फॉर्म सो वी हैव ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई फाइव ट्वेल्व अपॉन फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू ओके सो अगैन वील कीप दिस वन एज इट इज okay this is multiplication this becomes 2 so your answer now becomes what 12 upon 10 now both of them are even numbers so let's divide both of them by 2 so you get what 6 upon 5 again this is an improper fraction so you will get now what 1 1 upon 5 is your final answer but always remember when you have something like this and there is a multiplication sign instead of directly multiplying everything you can cancel this directly so instead of this particular step you would have directly landed at the next step which is what 6 into 1 which is 6 upon 5 into 1 which is 5 okay so i hope you all are getting how to do these kind of operations also students if you all are getting stuck that uh, you know how to do a mixed form or something like how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed form then i have already made a separate video on that so please go ahead and check that out okay now very quickly let's do one one of these let's do try to do this orally so 12 20 upon 3 divide by 5 so this is directly getting you what 20 upon 3 into 1 upon 5 okay so let's cancel this over here only so you're left with what 4 upon 3 that gets you how much Four upon three is nothing but one. Three ones are. This is divided by three and left over. When you take three away from four, you are left with just one. Okay, so this is your answer when it comes to twenty upon three divided by five. Okay. Now I'm sure you all must be wondering that what if we do it the other way round? Five divided by twenty upon three. Then what happens? Then again, we are going to follow the same method K C F, which is nothing but what keeping the first number as it is, changing this sign, then reversing this fraction or flipping this fraction. This becomes three upon twenty. So this now changes to what five ones are, four ones. Answer is three upon four. This is already a proper fraction, so you don't need to do any operations of a mixed fraction. Very quickly, let's look at one more of these kind of examples. Uh, let's say we have eight uh, divided by twelve upon five. If something like that was there, so we'll keep eight as it is, multiplying five upon twelve. So four twos are and four threes are. So the answer is ten upon three. Again, this is an mixed form. Sorry, this is an improper form. So your answer will now change to what three one upon three. Okay. So now coming to your DIY, I want you all to tell me what is the final answer of two upon five divided by six. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.